Hi all. Today we will see over pressurization of the Venus reservoir in the CPP troubleshooting series. What can happen when over pressurization happens in the Venus reservoir? The excessive positive pressure inside the reservoir can cause massive air embolism backing way up to the venous line till the cannula or into the RA and potentially to the arterial side also and in vascular mass situation it might get exploded also the cracks can happen in the venous reservoir causing the blood leak air can be pumped in the arterial side because of the emptied reservoir due to no venous return eventually it might end up in death. What can cause this overpressurization? A failure to remove the vent cap in the venous reservoir or obstructing the vent site of the venous reservoir. Operating cardiotomy suckers or vent suckers in a higher speed when the vent site is obstructed as well as not noticing the positive pressure built up inside the venous reservoir. Failure of VAVD device to regulate the desired uh, pressure. Keeping lesser vacuum in the VAVD allowing to develop positive pressure inside the reservoir. How to prevent this? Include confirmation of uh, removal of vent cap and safety pressure relief valve cap in the pre bypass checklist and make sure it has been checked and read aloud for the old team members. Monitoring the venous line pressure using a transducer, especially while you are using a VAVD device. Keeping an empty saline bag connected and leave the stop cup opened in the infusion site in the reservoir. When the venous reservoir is pressurized, it will bloat the empty bag. So that might be a visual confirmation for us if we are not connecting a transducer. While using VAVD, the negative pressure is limited to minus 40 mmHg or lesser. Always keep an Y connector in the vacuum line with a safety clamp present in that. Uh, if uh, the positive pressure is uh, developed inside the venous reservoir, we can always release the pressure immediately by unclamping the safety clamp. How to manage when the overpressurization happens in the venous reservoir? If positive pressure in the venous reservoir causes air emboli pushed up to the venous line causing ma massive air embolism in the uh, right side of the heart was a situation in the arterial side also immediately clamp both the arterial and venous line discontinue CPB from the patient first find the cause of pressurization and solve the problem especially look at the vent cap whether it is uh, removed or it is obstructed or if we are using an VAVD make sure it is not over pressurized or lesser uh, vacuum level was set over there and correct the issue then reinitiate. If you are having the Y connector in that uh, VAVD connector as I explained before release the positive pressure by declamping the safety line immediately. If the air embolus reach the arterial system Initiate RCB for treatment of uh, air embolus and cool the patient accordingly. RCB here is meant for retrograde cerebral perfusion to DR. If venous reservoir is found cracked or exploded, replace and uh, reinitiate the CPB after confirming the cause of pressurization.